Nasty Knox 89 here, and this is my part two review to Long Term the mixtape by Absol. And let me not waste any more time and let me dive right into this. Uh, track 11, Mr. Absolutely. Now, um, this song, uh, I would say this would maybe be the second single. Uh, come referring to the first one, if this was an album, uh, regular N-I-G-G-A, uh, Mr. Absolutely has that upbeatness, and, um, the chorus is definitely, uh, something attractive, maybe, to, uh, an appealing audience, a broader audience, if you will, uh, a lot of touting on this one, and, uh, nothing, um, too into, but uh, I respect Absol for, you know, uh, really trying to gravitate towards an audience, but still keeping it real to himself. So you gotta respect it. Track 12, Studio Life. This is a classic track to me. Uh, another classic track on this mixtape. Uh, this is definitely dedicated to the artists who uh, are dedicated to rhyming. Uh, who are in the studio religiously, who are writing, who are collaborating, who are making music, who blow off their friends or blow off whatever, just to be in the studio and make music and try to make, uh, excuse me, try to make something of themselves. And uh, he keeps it really futuristic, scientific with his flow. I'm just going to leave it at that. All you got to do is listen to it. His metaphors are crazy, so uh, if you, you obviously if you're watching this video, you're, if you're familiar with Absol, you know his metaphors are really good. And, uh, you know, just about how he records his music and keeps it moving to the next project. And, you know, like I said, you gotta, gotta respect Absol for that one. Uh, next track is Mrs. Payne. And uh, this is featuring Punch. Uh... The other rapper on this mixtape that is outside of the TDE Black Hippie Camp. Uh, the first one was from track 3, regular N-I-G-G-A, featuring Big Poo. Uh, the flow and lyrics on this one, uh, they hit hard uh, with uh, being in Mrs. Pain. Uh, pain could be anything. Like the sample says, the pain is gone. You can go so much with that topic. Uh that you can really just go off anything. What kind of pain? Uh, death pain? Girl pain? Uh, you know, uh, uh, someone coming into your life, someone going out of your life, you meeting someone for a little bit, then leaving. Uh, any type of situation uh, that life throws at you that, that might give you pain. It might not even be with individuals. It could be anything. It could be a place that you're present at. It definitely... Uh, uh, as a, it's definitely an amazing track as far as that sample and that topic. <clears throat> Punch is also a good addition to the song. He doesn't hurt it. Uh, next track is called Absol. Now, uh, this song reminds me of Mr. Absolutely, which was three tracks before. And uh, maybe this should have been on later. Uh, I feel like it's too close to, together. Again, another track about... Uh, you know, more touting, but, but Absol, uh, it, it bumps though, so, uh, uh, but it's no broader topic, it's kind of just, like, there, and, uh, you know, I respect it, but, I mean, it's too many of those tracks on this mixtape, there's a lot of really, there's a lot of good ones, a few classic tracks, and then there's the few tracks that are just, you know, should have been cut shorter from the mixtape, but, you know, we keep it moving. Uh, track 15 is Life is Crazy. Uh, I like how uh, he goes into happy to mad, ha uh, happy to sad, uh, feeling good to feeling miserable. Uh, just the different circumstances that life can throw at you. Uh, you know, he uh, to go back a few tracks before with uh, Studio Life, he is... Uh, attracted and drawn to the studio life where else life is crazy uh everyone is drawn to the craziness of life uh any type of situation you put yourself into something's gonna happen uh just like miss uh, me and miss pain uh 
pain can be anything. Life is crazy. Anything can happen. So I like those tracks that kind of connect with each other. Um, and it's definitely, uh, he goes to the different instances of how life is crazy. And uh, it lives up to the phrase of the track. So definitely a great track by Absol. Next track is called Long Term. Uh, this is probably my favorite track on the mixtape. Uh, not because it's the title of the mixtape, uh, but the beat is, is, reminds me of a old school Jay-Z beat, and, uh, he really, um, he's really talking in retrospect and sharing respect and describing his personality, uh, paying homage to hip-hop in some parts as well as also explaining his perspective on, um, on just... Uh, life in general or this long term road that he's on so uh, it's laid back type of track but it also is bumping and uh, just lyrics that you can just vibe to nod your head to and say you know word I feel that so definitely definitely amazing uh, next track track 17 is called solo uh, the beat is nice and smooth and uh it, this is probably where the track, sh the, the mixtape should have ended. If the mixtape ended here on track 17, then it would probably be maybe more of a four and a half mic rating, uh, or four mic rating for me. But, um, you know, it is what it is. The, the lyrics are deep, and, uh, this is just a taste of his gradual growth in his music. That he's uh, gonna that, you, that that the audience is gonna see in later albums. Um, this is what you two expect to Absol the humble, laid back, deep, self conscious lyrics. Um, now we're going into the bonus tracks, which is track eighteen and track nineteen. Track eighteen um, is more of a posse track. With uh, I don't know who the artists are. If you know who the artists are, maybe you can leave me a comment and give me a first comment. But if not. Um, I'm not sure who the artists are. It's nothing special. Um, probably more of a filler track. And, um, you know, it, it, it could have been left off. The last track now is called Distortion. And it's exactly what it is. It's absolute rapping over a distorted beat. Um, he warns the listener, I uh, hope your speakers are good. <laughs> So, I like the creativity with it, but, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure if it should have been the last track. Um, I think Solo should have been the last track. But, in other, uh, in other ways to end the mixtape, it was definitely a creative way with a distorted track. No one does that. It was kind of interesting. Uh, I like I like how he did that. So, uh, kudos to Absol. And I'm definitely, in closing, I would like to say that the mixtape was definitely um, a step in the right direction. It was a little bit of everything. His real classic tracks, deep and self-conscious tracks, which foreshadow his later songs. And a few filler slash songs that could have been left out. Um, so it was, a, it, it was a definitely a mixed bag. So I would give it probably... Three and a half mics. It was a good mixtape, good album, um, and uh, it, it for me to my in my opinion, it gives the listener, uh, you know, they, they they get a different they get a perspective of Absol and they it's uh, they want to hear more of what that artist has to offer. He has that mixed bag, but we want to see what the artist offers when he when he broadens his uh, when he broadens his horizon more. Um, I hope I was clear on some of the stuff I s spoke about. I wrote some th things down, and I and I didn't write the others. I'm just talking off of uh, how I'm feeling. Um, I'm really tired. I've uh, been waking up every day for uh, you know nine o'clock, uh, eight o'clock in the morning, so six days a week. Uh, I'm a little tired. My eyes are a little bloodshot, but I wanted to get this review out there. I've been procrastinating and. Uh, Definitely check out some more of my stuff, and uh, that'll be it. Absolute long term, the mixtape. Three and a half mics.
give it a download, pick out the tracks that you like, delete whatever you didn't like, and uh, in the future I will, if this video does good, future, long term too. Uh, peace out, Nancy Knox 89 signing out.